appreciate it. Uh, I will be issuing a statement. I have copies to see me in the house. And regrettably, I won't be showing any because the statement is self explanatory. Okay? This statement is designed to set the record straight as regards my termination as chairman of the Board of the National Housing Corporation. When I willingly accepted the role of chairman of the National Housing Corporation in December 2008, I viewed that position as an excellent opportunity to broaden my service within the community through alleviating many of our society's ills that are rooted in the twin issues of inadequate housing and overcrowding. Despite my social intent, unfortunately, there were fundamental differences between the Minister of Housing and Land and the Board in terms of our interpretation of established rules and protocols, as well as the role and function of the Board in respect of certain NHC projects. The fully established rule is that in respect of all NHC funded projects, the Board recommends and the Minister is free to accept or reject any such recommendation. Regrettably, in some instances, the Board was never afforded the opportunity to give due or any consideration to and or make an appropriate recommendation in respect of some NHC project. Simply put, the Board was bypassed by the Minister. This attitude and disposition on the part of the Minister ultimately led to an impasse between the Minister and me, and ultimately my termination as Chairman of the Board. And the case in point of a project that has commenced without even coming to the Board is the project with Noah Forge Road, Slapman St. Michael. Prior to my termination, and as a result of the same impasse already referred to, I considered resigning on several occasions. But I felt that I owed it to Prime Minister, the Honourable David Thompson, who was instrumental in my appointment, as well as my commitment to the cause of social justice, to persevere in what was becoming an impossible situation, in the hope and expectation that the matter would be resolved amicably. Sadly, this was not to be. And I exited the board on July 30th, 2010. Whereas some strides were made under my stewardship at the National Housing Corporation, I leave somewhat disappointed that certain issues were not adequately <coughs> addressed. For example, the awarding of contracts to small contractors. I feel passionately about this issue, given my direct dialogue with many small contractors, many of whom are on the brink of failure. I have repeatedly sought without success to persuade the Minister to buy into the concept outlined in the DLP's manifesto of 2008 of awarding a far greater portion of NHC contracts to small contractors. Additionally, I leave with the knowledge that despite my best efforts and alert, I could not ensure that a contract be put in place with the, contract, with the contractor's people holdings limited with the ongoing work at Constance St. George. The experience gained as chairman of the National Housing Corporation will be forever etched in my mind. Hence, I wish to, to extend sincere gratitude to the board as well as the management and staff for your cooperation. I also wish to take this opportunity to publicly thank all my well-wishers for their notes and calls of encouragement. To my clients and policyholders, my wife and the sisters, and to my many sponsors, rest assured of my adherence to the highest standards of professional responsibility. To date, I have not received any direct or indirect explanation as to the root cause of my termination as chairman, nor have I received any prior warning. In the absence thereof, I can only but conclude that my termination was due to interpretation of and strict adherence to established rules and protocols. If so, then I leave with my head high as a proud and principled former chairman of the National Housing Corporation. Thank you.